Hello you guys, I'm Shivani and welcome back to the Campus Society YouTube channel. Today I will be giving you 5 tips on how I cope slash control stress. These tips I'm going to be giving you guys are stress related to work, uni, exams or even you know life in general if you are in a bad situation or having an issue. These are things that I do that help me feel a bit better and less stressed about things but I do hope that it does work for you guys. So stress in general is actually a good thing for us. If we didn't have stress then we wouldn't be revising for our exam or doing things that we're meant to do. But one of the things that I do is to organise myself. And I know some of you guys that already know me know that I am hardly ever organised, but I try to. So what I mean by being organised is I try to make a timetable, say if you're revising for an exam. I remember when I did psychology A level, I was stressing out so much because there were so many topics and I just didn't understand how I was going to go through all of these topics for my exam. So what I did to help me is that I made like a timetable and I divided each topic in smaller sections and I set myself a target to make sure that I revised that topic for that day. And I did that for every single day, if that makes sense. Basically what I'm saying is make sure that you revise one topic at least every single day. If not one, then two or how many you can do. And by doing that, taking things step by step actually does help and ease your mind in a way. Tip number two is setting yourself a target. So what I've been doing lately is making a list of things that I need to do by the end of the day so I won't have to leave everything last minute. And trust me, take it from me, I leave everything last minute and it just gets me so stressed out and I freak out so much. So for example, just take out my phone and you know, just go on notes and I'll make a list of what I need to do in that day. So for example, today, things I need to do is to finish my essay, which I did, so tick that, um, do solar points, which I haven't done yet, and the third thing is to film a video for Campus Society, which I'm doing right now. So by having this list, it actually puts, again, it puts my mind on ease. I feel like that's gonna be the phrase of this video, putting your mind on ease. But it does. There's something about me seeing a list visually makes me feel better because I know in this head of mine, it'd be going all over the place and I just don't know where to start. I don't know what I need to do first. By doing this and setting myself a target, I know that if I can't do everything in one day, I know I can at least do something rather than just sit there and contemplate and just let time waste by when you could be using that time to do the things that you need to do. But yeah, so that's one thing that I've been doing recently and it has definitely helped me. Tip number three. And legit, I'm telling you, anyone can do this, and that is to sleep. Have a good night's sleep or a nap or whatnot, but just rest. Rest is really important for our body and mind, because our mind goes through a lot in a day, especially when we're going on stress, we just can't think straight. So by having a rest, it actually refreshes your mind a bit. So by stepping out a bit out of the whole situation, it actually helps you to see and think clearly, if that makes sense. I know for other people, meditating, it's relaxing for them. Honestly, I've tried doing meditation myself and it just didn't work because I get distracted very easily and there's something about silence that just gets me really, I don't know, but I just don't like silence. I feel like I need to have some sort of noise around me. I just can't do meditation. Meditation is not for me, but only because it didn't work for me, it doesn't mean that it won't work for you guys. Another thing that someone else said, drinking tea. Apparently drinking tea relaxes people, but you know, do anything that relaxes you if that means, you know, sleeping, playing video games or watching TV shows or going to the spa. Ooh, a spa does sound nice. Stress and relaxation are two things that you can't do. You need to be cooled down, you know, for you to take decisions properly. But taking a rest doesn't harm anyone, you know. Just take a rest and just relax yourself a little bit. Tip number four, and that is diet. I know all of us have heard it in secondary assembly, you know, when the teacher comes in and tells you, you need to make sure that you're eating before your exam. Trust me, it actually helps. Because for me personally, let's be honest, I can eat 24-7. I eat when I'm stressed, angry. I eat when I'm happy. I eat, psh, I can eat any time. But it's the type of food that you eat that can affect you. I know that it's hard to eat healthy, but you need to try and eat healthy. Like, it doesn't have to be like a full-on healthy meal, but you know, just have like a fruit or drink water or try not to eat so much junk food. Something about me eating a lot of junk food that makes me feel a bit sick, a little bit heavy and you start to feel sleepy and you know, drowsy and not able to do what you need to do. So yeah, drink and eat 
healthily. The last tip is to face up reality. At the end of the day, all of us experience negativity, situation where we don't want to be, or say if you like struggling with something or have an issue, all of us go through things like this. What I always do is run away from the situation, which is not a good thing. Just something about me running away from a situation that just made me think that I wouldn't have to face that situation but in reality i will have to face that situation one day or another so why not face the situation sooner than later i've realized when i'm in a bad situation i freak out so much and you know i'll text my friend or call them like oh my god i don't know what to do this happened this da, da, da. you know it's normal it's normal you know it's we're humans it's normal for us to freak out or you know be a bit stressed about a situation but instead of running away from the situation why don't you actually face it and i have been doing that and to be honest it hasn't been that bad because in my head i'm like oh my god i am gonna die this is so bad what are they gonna think of me this da, da, da. just my mind goes all over the place i've been telling myself a quote that's actually been helping me to face issues which is basically woman up or in your case man up or woman up or whatever you want to call yourself but i've been telling myself to woman up but yeah that's the end of the video and i hope that these tips will help you guys in controlling or reducing your stress and just putting your mind in ease because it has definitely helped me if you haven't already subscribe to our channel make sure to like subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below things that you do to help you reduce your stress but if you want to see more of me outside of cancer society then you can subscribe to my channel which will be on the link below i hope you guys have an amazing day and i will see you very soon Bye!